Good day, happy travelers. Vacation Travel Hacks here with another Disney World planning strategy video. This time we're talking about using Genie Plus at the Hollywood Studios, a tip on stacking. I, I call myself a resident expert in it. I might have a doctorate, certainly at least a bachelor's, become a master at it. And listen, uh, the way we're going to show you today, if you're like, hey, where's a good pool day or where's a good uh, Disney spring shopping day or I really want to go to Typhoon Lagoon, Blizzard Beach or, uh, you know, uh, anything else. Uh, this this I'm going to show you how to ride maximum rides and uh, accomplish a lot or heck, Maybe you just want to sleep in day, just lounge around, rest the feet. You might be in the middle of it. Uh, anyway, let, let's get into it because this is a uh, best practice. This is what we use. And you might be on the fence. You might be watching this because you're like, you know, I, I don't know the value of Genie Plus. I, I see the cost. I don't know what value it brings to me. I think I can. Uh, the Hollywood Studios allows you to really accentuate the value. Uh, so let's take a look at my practice Genie Day. Uh, we're going to review a series of actual screenshots, actual Genie Plus selection times, and actual wait times as we go through the day. So this is a really good mock a setup of what Genie is uh, like. And again, pretend it's 6.45 in the morning, uh, your group sound asleep, but the Disney planner is awake and stewing, might have a fresh cup of coffee uh, in your hand, and uh, you know, you're, you're ready to go. And you might be wondering, uh, <clears throat> Vacation Travel Hacks guy, it says 7.15. I can't take screenshots of actual times until 7, but uh, 7.15, even though it opens at 7, and it only opens at 7 for guests staying at a Disney World property. So let, let's talk through this here. At 7.15, it gives you a pretty good representation of what sells out fast. So if you're up at 7, you've already paid before 7. You don't want to be paying for Genie Plus at 7. Uh, if you're up at seven, you're, you're going to be able to get what you want and you should prioritize the thing. And it's right here. Let's take a look. The elephant in the room team is slinky dog dash. I enjoy it. Uh, it is the first thing that's gone. It's not uncommon for it to be gone by 702, 703. Uh, so for purposes of today's demonstration, we're going to get two right off the bat, two of the most commonly sought after uh, items here. So we're going to get Slinky Dog Dash. And uh, if you, I don't know, 701, 702, you're going to get it in the evening. And Star Wars Rise of the Resistance at 715, you can already see it at uh, 8 o'clock. So the first thing I get is Slinky. The second thing I get is Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. And that's that's the thing. And you're like, well, well wait a minute. I don't want to pay another 25 on top of the 20 to $29. Uh, uh, you, you can exit it out. I'm selecting it to show you how it builds out the day. But you can already see, look at this, 715. We got Mickey's Runaway Railway out to 1115. Tower of Terror is already out to 1215. And you can kind of see what maybe you're not looking to get. You know, Toy Story Mania, maybe you don't have to burn that first. Uh, so let's move forward. For those people that are staying off-site at their house, at an Airbnb, a rental property home, or a, a Marriott or a Hilton down by uh, International Drive, here's what it looks like. Oh, I, here's what I've selected. So I selected Rise of the Resistance 5 to 6, Slinky Dog 6 to 7. You, you can choose your time. I'm just assuming my dinner somewhere between 4 to 5. Uh, we normally make dining reservations uh, for uh, Hollywood Studios. Probably try to get Sci-Fi Diner, Primetime Diner, uh, Brown Derby, something something of the like. And four to five, uh, pretty doable for dinner. Uh, but uh, please, uh, if you just a quick service team, you can just take out dinner time. You'll, you'll grab a hot dog and a burger whenever. Uh, if you eat later, you know, just I'm just walking through an example here. It is be a million videos if I walk through every example. But uh, for those people staying off site, ta-da, here's what it looks like at 8.30. Some stuff is gone. Some stuff is there. Uh, times fluctuate. And if you don't see the time that you want, uh, if you recall, take a look here. Tower of Terror was at 1215. Now Tower of Terror is at 1035. It's not unusual at 8 o'clock and at various points in the morning for the, the more items to be refreshed. You actually look, look at the Slinky Dog's back. Uh, a caution, though, if you are a 7 a.m. person making a 7 a.m. Genie Pass and you see a better time, if you delete your reservation and make a new one, your two-hour window will start from that time. So I uh, learned by my mistake. I was like, oh, well, that is unfortunate. 
So, okay. So we already have our two, two rides. Let's pretend it's uh, two hours after the park opens. It's 1030. And now, again, we're, we're going for the back half of the day. We're staying out of the heat of the sun. We're going to the shopping and pool. So now we got to prioritize, hey, what, what do we want here? What, what's going to go f- first? Uh, I see Millennium Falcon at 515. I see Twilight of Terror at 535. But I'm already at the other side of the park at that time. So I'm being mindful of maybe not making my whole group, you know, walk 30 miles in the day. So, oh, and we also have minis running away right away, but that's 410. I might be able to get that a little later. Let's go ahead and get Millennium Falcon 515 to 615. All right, now we have three three rides done. We we haven't even left the house yet. It's 1030, we're, we're just hanging out, maybe, you know, getting some quick service breakfast, uh, maybe just, you know, doing whatever. I, you, you know, this is a perfect day. Maybe you're heading to the water park. All right, 1230, it's go time here. All right, what am I looking at? We got Minis Runaway Railway at 325 over here. We got Smugglers Run, but we already got that. Nope, whoa, 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 Tower of Terror. Well, I better snag this because this is, you know, the last chance to get it. We're on the way out, perfectly natural. Let's add that 9 to 930, 930 because the park closes at uh, 930. So that's the last time. Uh, be careful, though, if you're doing Fantasmic, uh, maybe you, whoa, 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 wait a minute, this interferes with Fantasmic. I would select something else, select something else. Let's continue on. Uh, 2.30, now, whoa, wait, look, look, so many options are gone. Not selected, not, it looks like Mickey's in Runaway. If we want to do it, we're going to have to wait some standby. Uh, what do, oh, hey, look, Toy Story Mania. We're already in the park by by that time. Let's go ahead and select Toy Story Mania. That's a good one. Look, though, I mean, the wait time's two hours. And here we go. We have five rides. And now, by the time it's 4.30, we are in the park, we're riding the rides, and there's not a lot left to pick. So the pro is you got a really cool agenda. You got a really cool lineup of rides. And by the time you get to the park, you know, you're gonna be in the park for about five hours. And you got, you know, a dinner if you're if you're going to the park at about four, if you get there at five, uh, you certainly could do that. So if you're going to the park, sitting down, having some dinner. Uh, and then you can go ride the rides. But that's the the con. Uh, you have options at this point. You could go park hop uh, to Epcot. You could park hop to Magic Kingdoms open until 11. Uh, but your rides here, according to this, you know, you're, you're here until 930. So maybe you just call it a, you know, ride the rides, maybe enjoy a show. Uh, their, their projection show, Hollywood Studios. And you just call it an early night and uh, rest your feet. If we want to call 930, you probably, if you leave at 930 after Tower of Terror, you're not getting home until uh, later. So let's take a look here. Uh, based on the wait times, and by the way, if you want to pause, go backwards, what are the wait times while you're here? Well, you got 115 minutes for this. And these are actual uh, wait times as posted by our good friends at uh, Disney World. And if you saw my other videos, you know that I'm not telling you if these wait times are right or not right. I'm not here to tell you if they're inflated to make you buy Genie Plus. I've been in lines long enough to know that it's close. Uh, you know, it's sometimes it's egregiously wrong, uh, but more more often than not, if it says 70 minutes, I was in line for real close to 70 minutes, and I never once got on the ride and said, "Well, they were just trying to inflate Genie Plus." I just said, hey, that's cool. <laughs> but uh, you know, a lot of people have sour grapes that they took free fast passes. And uh, turned it into Genie Plus. You know, I, it is what it is. And I just play by the rules. So I took these standby times uh, from the 5.30 and the 6.30 just to show you that 6.30, there's there's nothing else here. Uh, and we make a list here. So Rise of the Resistance had a two-hour wait. Slinky Dog had a three-hour wait. Millennium Falcon, 70 minutes. Tower of Terror, even at 9 o'clock, about an hour. Toy Story Mania at the time we were going to go. That's 530 minutes saved. Uh, that's 10 minutes short of nine hours. You rode nine hours of rides between the hours of five and 9.30. So nine, so four hours, in four hours you rode nine hours waiting's worth of ride. So that, if you're sitting there going, whoa, 29 bucks a person, is it worth it? That's the math. Uh, we have done it many times. We have found value in it. We've waited. Our feet have said, hey, do you have 29 bucks, pal? Uh, or you're like, hey, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. We're, we're not doing that. We're going to be strategic. If you rope drop, completely different experience. You wake up, you know, round the hounds up. If you're an early group, it, maybe this isn't for you. 
uh, we are not early people. We like to sleep in and kind of, you know, do this. this. There's no wrong way to Disney. This is just a way to do Disney. And you get to choose if it's your way to do Disney. I'll see you in the next video, team. Stay safe.